This mask I offer for the intention of Catherine uh, Boomer. The good shepherd uh, has reason uh, who laid down his life for his sheep and willingly died for his flock. Hallelujah. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, who was sent to heal the country of pride, the Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that putting off our old self with all its ways, we may live as Christ did, for through uh, the healing pastoral remedies, you have conformed us to his nature, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and now. Reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Stephen, filled with grace and power, was working great wonders and signs among the people. Certain members of the so-called synagogue of Freedmen, Cyrenians, and Alexandrians, and people from Sicilia and Asia came forward and debated with Stephen. But they could not withstand the wisdom and the spirit with which he spoke. Then they instigated some men to say, We have heard him speaking blasphemous words against Moses and God. They stirred up the people, the elders, the scribes, accosted him, seized him, and brought him before the Sanhedrin. They presented false witnesses uh, who testified, This man never stopped saying things against this holy place and the law, for we have heard him claim that this Jesus the Nazarene will destroy this place and change the customs that Moses handed down to us. All those who sat in the Sanhedrin looked intently at and saw that his face was like the face of an angel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Though princes meet and talk against me, your servant meditates on your statutes. Yes, your decrees are mighty. Your decree are my delight. They are my counselors. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. I declare my ways and you answer me. Teach me your statutes. Make me understand the way of your precepts and I will meditate on your wondrous deeds. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Remove from me the way of falsehood, and favor me with your law. The way of truth I have chosen, I have set your ordinances before me. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Wonders I live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from forth from the mouth of God. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. Reading from 
glory to you. After Jesus had fed the 5,000 men, his disciples saw him walking on the sea. The next day, the crowd that remained across the sea saw that there had been only one boat there, and that Jesus had not gone along with his disciples in a boat, but only his disciples had left. Other boats came from Tiberias near the place where they had eaten the bread when the Lord gave thanks. When the crowd saw that neither Jesus nor his disciples were there, they themselves got into boats and came to Capernaum looking for Jesus. And when they found him across the sea, they said to him, Rabbi, when did you get here? Jesus answered them and said, Amen, amen, I say to you, you are looking for me, not because you saw signs, but because you ate the loaves and were filled. Do not work for food that perishes, but for the food that endures for eternal life, which the Son of Man will give you. For on him the Father God has set his seal. So they said to him, What can we do to accomplish the works of God? Jesus answered and said to them, This is the work of God, that you believe in the one he sent. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, in today's Gospel of St. John, we are reminded earlier about the miracle of the multiplication of the loaf and the fish. Our Lord Jesus uh, fed the people with the bread in a very few in number of loaves. But what we have heard here of the today gospel, the number was 5,000 men. With the five loaves, two fish, 5,000 men were able to eat, and then also they collected the fragment. The people now, they observe that the boat that took Jesus to that area, and also the boat that uh, took the, the disciple of Jesus, is all left. The boats they realized also when the Lord Jesus and the disciples, when they left the area, Jesus were not with the disciples. And after the uh, observation and after they have known that uh, there's no sight of the, the Lord Jesus nor the disciples, and yet they're not living together in the same boat. The people now are looking for the Lord Jesus. The people came to Capano. My question uh, when I read uh, at this moment, is this for all of you? Why the people uh, came to Capano? Why do they know that Jesus will be there? Perhaps these are the people who are already observing and following the Lord Jesus and knowing where the Lord Jesus uh, stay or where his itinerary will be. 
because uh, Jesus probably uh, moving from place to place and then they're observing that that is his uh, normal normal custom to go from one place to the other and then that was the place that Jesus would uh, come or most likely will be there and uh, for me when I uh, preaching this gospel uh, to uh, the children I always ask them a question. The question I ask them, if uh, they want uh, to buy a burger, where would they uh, normally thinking they would go to buy a burger? I'm sure that uh, you would know the answer. I'm not trying to advertise him for any uh, fast food uh, change or whatsoever. But when we want to have a burger, we just go to McDonald's. Or we go in some other place that they are selling burgers. Five guys, for example. So for all of us, we do know if we want to buy a burger, we will go to that place and buy. For the people who follow the Lord Jesus, they know where Jesus would be. They prediction that is that is most likely the chance. So they came to Capernaum. But the story moving even beyond of what we are just thinking that this came to Capernaum and found Jesus and that will be it. But St. John told us as we following in the, the, in the gospel, Upon seeing Jesus, the people will say to him, Rabbi, what did you get here? So not only that, they, their speculation or their thinking that Jesus would be in Capano is right. Not only that, it's right, but they now are able to uh, ask the Lord Jesus. They ask the Lord Jesus for, they are looking for him for some purpose. And the Lord Jesus answered them, uh, knowing what they are looking for him, why they are looking for him. And Jesus said, Amen, Amen, I say to you, you are looking for me, not because you saw signs, but because you ate the loaves and were filled. Well, first of all, they saw Jesus had done many wonderful signs. But that wasn't uh, their purpose. The Lord Jesus spoke up, cut right through into their heart. You look for me because of the loads that fill you. And the Lord Jesus said, oh, don't do that. And he said, do not look for the food that perishes, but for the food that endures for eternal life. And this is what our Lord Jesus is trying to bring them and lift them and raise them high. Do not look for the food that perishes, but for the food that endures for eternal life. And this food is only given by the Son of Man. The Son of Man, the Lord Jesus, will give uh, to the people, and He will give to all of us. And that is the kind of food that our Lord Jesus uh, trying to lift the people, move them uh, beyond of the physical reality, but it move on into the eternal, the transcendent in uh, the language of philosophical or theological language, that the transcendence, the higher kind of life. And our Lord Jesus uh, Stirred in their heart for the thirst, for the desire of this food. The food that you and I, having the opportunity to receive at every Mass that we celebrate. And in this case, in this time, you receive spiritually. But when uh, the pandemic is over, we will to resume with the public mass and you and I can celebrate together and you can receive
receive uh, truly the body, blood, soul, divinity. No longer spiritual, but uh, in reality. And the Lord Jesus uh, now inviting the people. Work for that kind of food. And the people were started to ask him, what can we do to accomplish the works of God? And Jesus said to them, the work of God that you believe in me. You believe in the one that he sent. The work of God, St. John said, this is the work of God that you believe in the one he sent. We all now knew that the one that God sent is Jesus. But for the people then, he just said, believe in the one that God sent. And how many of us thinking that to believe in God is the work? Let me give you the analogy. Each one of us have a job. Each one of us have to work. But what is the final end uh, of the job, the work that we are doing? For some, the final end of work is to be able to find uh, the compensation for the livelihood. Whether they receive food or whether they receiving money and then they buy food and they put it on the table for their family. For others, they uh, move on a little bit a higher level. Not only that they find the food that they can eat, but it's also they can find the satisfaction, a higher form uh, of uh, what the work they have done. Some will just find the work, complete the work, and then exchange for food. Some find have food, and then they have a, a wonderful life, a better kind of food, and enjoyment. And for those who sometimes they don't even care about the physical reality of food that they're eating, but it's the satisfaction of uh, the desire the thinking, the knowledge that they are pursuing and they can find. And they are so delighted in the accomplishments of the work that they have done. Now, our Lord Jesus invites all of us not only yet to move beyond the physical food that feeds us or the desire that satisfies our thinking, our intellect, but it's also moving into the food that will take care of us in eternity. That is beyond of the physical food, the desire, but it's the life with God that has everything. And we do need to walk. To believe in the one God sent, to believe in the Lord Jesus is not easy. It's not to say, I believe. But we have to put into action the work of how I believe in the one that God sent, the Lord Jesus. And that helps us to come to understand what we have heard in the first reading. St. Stephen being questioned by the authority. He was filled with grace and power. Because he's doing the work of God, he believed in God, he believed in the Lord Jesus, and then he spoke and he spread uh, the word of God in despite of uh, obstacles, adversity came at him. He being put uh, to the test by those people who instigate uh, the people, the elders, 
because they trying to make a false claim that Stephen betrayed the teaching of Moses and also the law that handed down by Moses. Stephen, as we all knew, he did not try to change the teaching of Moses. Stephen, he followed the Lord Jesus. He believed in the Lord Jesus. And the Lord Jesus uh, already clearly spoken that I came not to abolish, but to fulfill. Jesus never abolished, but he fulfilled. He fulfilled what has spoken of old. And Stephen, he followed and he believed in the Lord Jesus, and he had done likewise. For all of us, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, we follow the Lord Jesus. We do work. We work for the mission that the Lord Jesus asks all of us. He first asks us to believe in Him, and then as we believe in Him, we work for the mission as go and proclaim the message to all the nations. To live out of our conviction in uh, the Lord Jesus and do what He asks of all of us to do. The Eucharist that we receive, once again, requires all of us to believe that it is truly the body, blood, soul, and divinity of Christ. But to believe and to just say that is not enough. We say that, we believe that, but we also put into action so that when the people see our action uh, in uh, the way we believe in the Eucharist, will help them, will invite them to move beyond uh, the regular food, the food that is heresies, move beyond that kind of food to the higher level of living. So the work of God that you believe in the one he sent constantly is what we are trying to put into practice and may our life the life of those who follow the resurrected Jesus the life of those who believe in the one God sent be the work of God in this time in this place and in our own family. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands who will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the one we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that by sacrificing your voice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May our prayers rise up to you, O Lord, together with the sacrificial offerings, so that, purified by your graciousness, we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you, with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, and our time to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to love you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed, he never ceased to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever leads us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is a sacrificial victim who dies no more, the Lamb once slain who lives well. Therefore, overcome with pastoral joy, every land, every people exult in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelical sing together the ending hymn of your glory as they are clean. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending out your spirit upon them by the new fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when Sepho ascended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be put out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that your elders will be to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Michael, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co heirs to eternal life, may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> through him and with him, in the name of God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever. At the Savior's command and formed by the divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days. By the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed moment of coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. 
for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lived and reigned forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. Lamb of God, that you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. <clears throat> Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. Not as the world gives, do I give it to you, says the Lord. Amen. An act of spiritual communion. My, my Jesus, Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul, since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally. Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever living God, who restored us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, increasing us, we pray the fruits of this pastoral sacrament and pour into our hearts the strength of the saving food through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you, with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Let us offer the Hail Mary for Father Darkin and the Movement. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sins, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle, the hour of protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray, do thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan, and all evil spirits who 